faster than may have originally been anticipated. I decided I'd come back and show you how I pare down this code to take out the pathogen uh, component, the metabolism component, and put it in the new simulation. Now, let's see if this thing runs. It should run. Yeah. Okay. That's a minor thing. Let's see, where are we? Uh, target deployment. Uh, what are we up to? I don't know. Um, okay, let's try this. Is it not liking OpenGL? Where is it saying... Okay, so there's a whole bunch of stuff that's been deprecated. Let me get this to work. So this one. Where is this? latest X code. I don't think it has any specification in here. I mean, it's got it somewhere. But it shouldn't have any specification associated with the oldest. The oldest. Um, so deployment target. As recent as possible. Where else would it be? Build settings. Okay, architecture 15. Okay, deployment target here, so is it 15, 16, I think I'm running 15. Fifteen's 15, okay let's clean it and try again. We did get the command line to build, so that's one thing irrespective of whether or not this this other stuff will build. So what is... Yeah, I seem to remember I had to go through and redo this at some stage. Um, this unfortunately has four windows. Okay. So this isn't looking too promising. What I did want to show was that there was some pathogen drawing, I think, which was specific to the drawing code. Graph pathogens, graph pathogens, graph pathogens, graph pathogens. And I think this is the only, this is the only drawing specific code that is in here. So I might save draw.c purely because it is it's got some additional meat. Uh, where are we? Draw.c which will be where will it be? In GUI. So let's take out draw.c, put that someplace safe. Now we've got to look at what the Linux thing is compiling against and just make sure that we keep that, keep that safe, so to speak. So we're in the noble directory, the entity directory, and the universe directory, and that is it. Okay, so universe, noble, entity. That's it. I think.
second. Let's double check that. Noble entity universe and Wonka. Noble entity universe and Wonka. And I think we can get rid of the rest. So let's put the Linux stuff down there too. Clean all this up. And then let's try to run this again. Just to make sure we've got everything we need. Okay, cool. So that compiles everything and I believe, I believe, creates NA long term here. So this is all that we need for the pathogen edition. So let's paste that in here. Da -da -da -da. Okay, uh, let's double check that. Of course, all this stuff is closed. This stuff is going to complain because I just removed its innards. Let's go up a directory. Now we're in the trash. Ah. Okay, CD. Let's go back here and double check for. because I'm paranoid and everything's all still. Okay, so how have things changed over this time? Incredibly different in some regard. However, there's still a universe and an entity directory. Noble, mm, looking at this, it could be quite similar, in fact. But most of the interesting stuff is happening in the entity directory. So if we do some comparisons, we have the power to do some comparisons. We should see that it's very, very different. And you'd hope it was different. I mean, this is seven years ago, basically. So, seven years ago, you would hope things were very different. Uh, so, we want Ape Hub. Oh, sorry, ape SDK hub versus uh, what's the most recent one that I manipulated? I think Urban perhaps. Uh, ape SDK. And that will have some of the same. Okay, so it's a bit of a fool's errand, but let's have a look at Entity for example. So Entity actually has a lot of the same stuff, except for metabolism. But if you look at the... And obviously this is in the name change. Mm, surprisingly similar. Actually surprisingly similar. In many ways. I mean, Speak is a bit of a cheating one. Um, let's look at Being. Hmm. Well, actually, this is where it gets very different. Right. So, yes, there has been a lot of changes over the past few years, over the past seven years. And yeah, a lot of this stuff is going to have to be reintegrated. The trick is to find the... So there's an immune system. Interesting, interesting. So there is an immune system. But I don't think there's the same idea of pathogens. So, if we go back to simulated ape, for example, Interesting. Interesting. So there is pathogen code that's in here. Interesting. So maybe... I should have started with this first. <laughs> this is the nature of this thing, right? This is the problem of complexity. 
you kind of go backwards in order to go forwards. So there is some pathogen code in here. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'll need to go through the existing pathogen code to see if it's if it's applicable. So we have metabolism in here. So what happened to the metabolism simulation? Or did I just keep those constants in to, to keep them in? Metabolism, vascular radius, description, interesting. Hmm. Okay, so maybe it won't be that difficult because we have some partial stuff that's there uh, that we just connect up again. So maybe the idea of going back in time, well, at least it reminded us what was there. And then we can work out how we can stick the rest of the stuff together with what is here. Very interesting. Very interesting. Because the skeleton is still here. So we just need to work out what happened to metabolism, whether it was integrated into body. And yeah, the deltas accordingly. Because clearly there's pathogen ingestion immune transmission, there's a bunch of stuff that's still there. Let's see what state it's immune is in. Yeah. So the immune simulation is on. Interesting. The stuff you learn. <laughs> well, this puts things in a distinctly different light. I'm going to say to be continued. Once I've done a fuller investigation myself. Kind of embarrassing actually doing these investigations on video. But anyway, I guess we can learn together.